All right, guys, super excited to show you one of our awesome projects that we've just completed. We've completed a full off-grid replacement setup out in Roxby Downs in Kakatha country. Originally, what we had here, this room more or less just filled up with lead acid gel batteries. What we've done is we've actually doubled the size of the total storage. We've done that with Pylon Tech US 5000 Bs. So we have 120 kilowatt hours of lithium storage um, in this container. Hooked them up into this sick cabinet. Thank you, Battery Works. These are the Defender cabinets from Battery Works. They look super crisp in this enclosure. They are IP rated, but we don't need to have the doors on there. So we've got two cabinets of 14 each and then have the link port here just to sort of couple everything up and get the comms working. So sick batteries. We also have these sort of like custom rack mounted isolators to keep everything sort of compliant. Each battery has their own circuit breaker, all managed via comms to the servo, which is a sick setup. These work wicked with it, with all Victron gear. So if you're thinking about going Victron, consider Pylon Tech to go with it. These awesome Victron units. So we've got two Quattro 15s. So we've got a continuous output of 30 kVA. The station owner wanted to have something that was gonna be enough for their demands today and meet the future demands of tomorrow. So what's really cool about this setup is everything's remote monitored. We've got continuous output of, like I said, 30 kVA. So one other part of this job um, is we had to integrate the existing solar that was on the property into our new system. So the solar that was already existing was pretty new. All, luckily enough, they were Fronius Primo Inverter, super good units, um, really reliable. So we have two Primo 5s here in the container with all the Victron gear. Um, we also have another two Primo 6s on the actual homestead as well. What we've done is we've linked up all the um, Fronis inverters via RS485 comms, and that links back to the servo. So that gives us awesome control. So when the generator starts, um, if it does start and they need that, um, that boost up to charge the batteries, uh, if there's not a lot of load, um, and the solar is going. Solar will either do one of two things: it'll it'll ramp down, uh, or it will shut the um, shut the AC coupled inverters off. Really handy that Victron can do that with these units. Um, and look, that was probably one other challenging part of this job. Um, but look, we progressed. We got there. Nothing's impossible. And we've also gone and added two of these um, 450 200 MPPTs. So we've coupled that up with approximately 30 kilowatts worth of solar on a ground mounted structure out in their paddock. So come with us, we'll show you what we've done out in the paddock. Pretty sick. We've basically installed 30 kilowatts of ground mounted solar. So just FYI, me and Doc did this ourselves. So two man team, we're absolute beast. Shout out Doc, come on, check it out. How sexual is that, eh? So what we've done over here, we needed to get like a perfect pitch and a perfect azimuth. So we faced these dead north and we've got 52 panels here. We drilled all the holes, we did all the trenching, we've done all the concreting and all the groundwork. We've used our sort of mid-range Jinko panels, so Jinko 440 N type, 25 year product warranty, 30 year performance warranty. Wicked panel so far has been absolutely pumping it um, and smashing the production of the other like older sort of poly type sort of panels on the the homestead and the other ground mount on site. We also used SRAC racking. Shout out Daryl from SRAC. Um, thanks for the help with the design. SRAC are really good. They help you with the design for the location for wind loadings and, and the panel types as well. All distributed through our wholesale trade zone. Shout out Dom. But yeah, so what we've done is SRAC mounting solution, 52 panels and we've got two arrays. So each array will sort of like wire into each MPPT facing dead north max production, max sun hours for charging um, and supplying sort of the loads of the homestead. So take a look at it, it's pretty slick. The team did an absolute belter of a job here.